Come in number 10, we have the bizarre clips. Recently, Britney Spears took to her Instagram to post a very bizarre video where she talked about everything from fashions to fans calling the cops for deleting her Instagram. The whole video ended up being under a minute long, and throughout it, she kept talking in a semi Australian and British accent. What started out with Britney talking about a dress she made and getting help from a friend to sew it, then she ended up changing it and switched it from talking about a dress that was sent to her by a company while she began to run all over her room. She then randomly shifted her story once more to talk about a story TMZ broke earlier when fans called the cops to Britney's house to perform a welfare check after she deleted her Instagram saying, so guys, I just want you to know if I shut down my Instagram, do not call the cops. But the whole thing just seemed really random and it seemed like the star was just hinting at something. Number nine, the intervention. On February 9th, TMZ released an article that claimed Britney Spears' friends and family planned an intervention for the star as they were scared the star was out of control. Recently, Britney has been struggling with her mental health and substance abuse, among other problems. And now, people close to her are planning an intervention as her loved ones fear she may pass away if things don't change. Multiple sources with direct knowledge would then tell TMZ that the people around Britney have become alarmed with her erratic behavior. And they also told the media outlet that she has been taking medications to hype herself up, but she's really just been flying off the handle while increasing these medications regularly and not taking the medication she actually needs to stabilize her. The situation has gotten so bad that Britney's manager has even rented a house in LA for several months and the plan is to take the pop star to the house where her husband, manager, interventionalist, and doctors will be present and they will attempt to convince the star that she needs help. Hey my little peaches, are you liking this video so far? If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and you know, subscribe to the channel. Number eight, complex medical issues. It appears like Britney Spears is reportedly facing complex medical issues as sources who have been working closely with Britney told Page Six on February 10th that things were not really going well when they said nobody outside the very small conservatorship circle knows what Britney's medical status really is. If people knew Britney's actual medical status, I think it would reveal that her mental problems are far more severe than people think. The insider would also go on to agree that regardless of the pop star's mental condition, it really isn't necessarily appropriate for her to be under a conservatorship, as there are far less harsh ways to handle her current situation. With there being growing reports of Britney planning to abandon an intervention that was planned for the star has only caused only more concern after she went online to say there's obviously a lot of people who don't wish her well. Number seven, a rare outing. So back in January, Britney caused quite a scene on a Friday night in an LA restaurant. It said that the pop star had such a bizarre meltdown that it even prompted her husband to storm out of the restaurant. Eyewitnesses would tell TMZ that Britney and her husband Sam showed up with a bodyguard at a Joey restaurant location on Woodland Hills, which was packed with people who immediately recognized the star. From the start of the dinner, apparently, it was a bust for Britney as fans in the restaurant just kept pulling out their cell phones and taking footage of the star. And when it started to get on her nerves, things quickly turned sour. Eyewitnesses would then tell the media outlet that Britney became manic as she was seen yelling and talking gibberish and that her speech just became completely unrecognizable. To the point, Sam became extremely upset, stormed out of the restaurant, and if things couldn't get any more concerning, TMZ went on to release a clip of Britney in the restaurant where she could be seen sitting alone at the table speaking incoherently. Number six wants privacy. So on January 26, Britney Spears started to make headlines once more again after she took to her Twitter account to put her fans in their place as she politely asked them to respect her in her privacy going forward. When the singer took to her Twitter to discuss an incident to which apparently police were called to her house after she deleted her Instagram account, the star would say, as everyone knows, the police were called to my home based on some prank phone calls. I love and adore my fans, but this time things went a little too far and my privacy was invaded. The star then went on to note that the police never entered her home, but they came to her gate and quickly realized that there was no issue and left immediately. But the whole situation made her feel like she was being gaslighted and bullied once the incident made its way to the news. She then went on to say during this time in her life, she truly hopes the public and her fans who care so much about her can respect her privacy moving forward and then signed off her post with all the love, B. Number five, 
the mental breakdown. So on February 10th, Britney Spears once again had to assure her overprotective fans that her loneliness isn't affecting her overall health when she finally took the time to address the rumors that stated she was struggling with her own mental health and needed an intervention. While she admitted that she was taking medication to help combat her depression, the clip posted to her Instagram page would come just a day after TMZ quoted a source in regular contact with Britney who warned the media outlet that they were afraid that the star may pass away sometime soon. In the video, Britney would go on to say, I'm here, I'm alive, yeah, I'm very much alive and well, and I've got my fur here. She then went on to show the camera her new white shawls and then saying, you see, I'm feeling myself. But this all just seemed like the star was just having another weird mental breakdown as before she ended the video, she went on to say, I'm here, I'm happy, I'm well, that's it. And then she went on to say, skip, 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 and she signed off. Number four, the welfare check. So back in January, Britney deleted her Instagram again, and it caused some major concern from her fans. TMZ would then go on to report that the sheriff's office then received several calls from fans who felt like the deleted account indicated that Britney was in trouble. When the police finally made the final call to make a visit to Britney's Thousand Oaks, California home, they were determined that there was no sign of danger. The whole thing just seemed a little weird, as no one ever confirmed if deputies spoke to Britney directly during the welfare check. Also, just before the star deleted her Instagram, she changed her name on her Instagram to River Red, and then she posted a very odd video of herself dancing. It also became very unclear if Britney was referring to the 1998 movie River Red, but it's also worth noting that this isn't the first time the star has deleted her Instagram and has caused major concern from her fans and family over the matter. Number three, the smudged makeup. Lately, it just seems like Britney Spears' face looks a little dirty. And while the star did clap back at fans who pointed this out, it almost looks like she does it because she's trying to make an attempt to cover a black eye. The star would also take to her Instagram story to say, I'm sorry my face looks dirty, but I've had an emotional day and I have no makeup on. I know most people don't like the way I do my makeup, but honestly, I have the best skincare routine. However, when the singer posted a photo where it looked like she was sporting a black eye in the photo, it caused fans to point out that the photo may be indicating that she's using her social media media pages to signal for help. And I don't blame her fans as her smudge makeup look does look like she is looking for help as it looks like she's having a mental breakdown or that she cried just before she went on the camera to film a video to try to prove that she's doing all right. Number two, Jamie Lynn Spears. So back in January, Britney came for her little sister, Jamie Lynn Spears, yet again after Jamie Lynn complained about how hard it was being related to a superstar on Fox News reality series, Special Forces World toughest test. After watching the episode, Brittany would head over to her Instagram to say, are we really gonna say it was hard to be my sister? Hmm. Really. Britney then went on to remind her followers that once she became famous, her loved ones were all treated to spa days and champagne while she was barred from enjoying such simple pleasures as coffee and how she was forced to perform day after day. Britney then went on to say, We teach her the meaning of mean and then throw her away in the end with no self rights. You want me to share it on television? I'd rather spit in their faces and trash them on Instagram because that's all my family has ever been to me. Britney then went on to note that she suffered severe nerve damage from her controversial conservatorship and that her family did nothing but hurt her as she went on to lose 15 years of her life. It's clear Britney is still struggling with her past and she's trying to warn us that these things are still on her mind as her family continues to drag her name. And coming at number one today, we have the random statement. So on February 22nd, Britney made this rare appearance on a radio station, K2U 103.5, where she revealed that Madonna was originally asking her and Gwen Stefani to be part of the infamous 2003 spectacle during the MTV Video Awards to which Madonna individually kissed Christina Aguilera and Britney as Justin Timberlake, who had recently just split from Britney, looked on from the audience very confused. The whole moment just seemed a way to me moment as it would come just a month after Jennifer Lopez said she too originally had been approached by Madonna for the steamy performance. It just seems like Madonna and Britney wanted whoever they could 
could to get up on the stage for the performance as they want it to be one giant party. But honestly, they got everyone they wanted up on that stage. For that incident, it probably would have just been one really weird party. And she went on also to shake Christina Aguilera with Pink when they made some Lady Marmalade comments. Coming in number 10, we have Fled LA. On March 28th, Britney Spears would be seen without her wedding ring after rumors started circulating online that she and her husband Sam were facing marriage troubles. The pop star looked disheveled as she climbed out of the back seat of a chauffeured SUV before boarding a private jet in Los Angeles. In photographs obtained by the Daily Mail, Britney could be seen caught looking sad while trying to enjoy her day while grasping onto a teddy bear before boarding a private jet. Thanks to her Instagram account, we would learn that Britney is currently taking a vacation in Hollywood with her longtime manager, Cade Hudson. With the news confirming that almost a year after the couple got married, after five years of dating, it makes you wonder if Sam really cared about Britney or was he just after her massive fortune? Number nine, Sam takes off his wedding band. Just days after Britney fled LA to focus on her health and well being, Sam would be spotted out without his wedding bands. While he was running errands near Britney, in his Thousand Oaks home on March 30th. With his bare index finger being visible as he pulled out his keys from his pocket while running errands in Los Angeles, Brittany would seem unfazed by her husband's actions as she continues to soak up in the sun in her Instagram pictures while she's on vacation with her longtime friend and longtime manager, Kate Hudson. With the couple's relationship constantly being under scrutiny from the public, their split would come to a shock as many as earlier this month, Brittany had us all raising our eyebrows and had us questioning if she was really happy in her third marriage after she made a post remembering all the good times she had before she got married to Sam and how happy they were together before they married each other. Hey my little peaches, are you liking this video so far? If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you never have to miss what we might just cover next. Number eight, the restaurant meltdown. Back in January, TMZ would publish an article in the article Britney Spears could be seen causing a scene in an LA restaurant. While the pop star was having a bizarre meltdown after Sam told her to behave, things got a little more strange and after a while it prompted her husband to storm out of the restaurant. Eyewitnesses would then tell TMZ that Brittany and Sam showed up with a bodyguard at a Joey's restaurant in Woodland Hills which was packed full of people that immediately recognized Brittany. And from the start the dinner was a total bust for Brittany as everyone in the restaurant continued to pull out their phones to take videos and photos of the star. Brittany became extremely angry at the fact that no one was respecting her privacy and soon things went south very fast. Eyewitnesses would then say that she started having a manic episode as out of nowhere she just started yelling and talking in gibberish. Her husband then left the restaurant instead of helping her and getting her out of the public's eye. Two minutes later, Brittany herself would get up and leave the restaurant with her bodyguard who then he returned to pay for the couple's bill. Number seven, wedding doubts. Back in June of 2022, People Magazine would cover an article about Brittany's wedding and how she may have had some doubts before the wedding as the star apparently had a panic attack just before she was set to walk down the aisle. The article would come just after Britney took to her Instagram to share a number of photos from the big day where she would write in one when she posted, we did it. We got married. I was so nervous. All morning, but then at 2 p.m. it really hit me. We're getting married. I had a panic attack and then I got it together. The crew who created our home into literally a dream castle were fantastic. The ceremony was a dream and the party was even better. While Britney was described as being happy on the big day, she finally made the decision to walk down the aisle. We all couldn't help though but wonder if the star herself was having doubts about walking down the aisle in the first place otherwise why would she freak out and have a panic attack just hours before getting married maybe she realized that her relationship wasn't as perfect as it seemed number six slammed her ex if there's one thing you should never do in a relationship is you should never slam your partner's ex-partners especially if your partner shares kids with that said person well back in august things took a sharp turn for britney after sam stepped into her and kevin's drama after he made some claims about britney in her relationship with her sons, Sean and Jaden. After Kevin claimed that the boys had decided that they didn't want to see their mother and how they made the decision not to go to her wedding, Sam would jump into the mix by clapping back by saying it's not valid, that his statement was invalid regarding the kids keeping their distance from Britney and it was irresponsible for him to make that statement publicly. The boys were very smart in that they would be 18 soon and that it was their own decision to eventually realize that the tough part was having a father who wasn't working and that hadn't worked in 15 years and that he wasn't really a good role model. It seems like her family has a problem with Sam and his tensions and this could be why her kids are having to take a step back from their relationship with
with their mother, and that's why they haven't seen her since she got married to Sam. Number five, a fake or real intervention. So in February, we all found out that Britney's close family and friends were really worried about the star's overall health. And with it, they were trying to plan an intervention for her. Except it, it turns out someone would ruin the intervention by telling the star that something was in the works for her, and that person ended up being Sam. With multiple media outlets claiming that Britney's friends and family were concerned for her overall health, Sam would force Britney to admit that she was fine, and he would make his own statement that would say, my wife is in full control of her life and will continue to make all of her decisions involving her care regardless of the circumstances. Speculation of her health is inappropriate and it should end immediately. However, it seems like there was truth to the interventions as a former personal trainer to Britney verified that Britney's friends and family were scared for her well-being. Number four, crisis talks. With rumors spreading online like wildfire claiming that Britney and her husband Sam are headed towards a divorce, with the report international the news would post in the article, they would claim that an inside source revealed to the outlet that things between Sam and Britney weren't going as well as everyone expected, and that the couple were also in a crisis talk to help save their marriage. With the insider sharing that the couple has been rowing constantly, they would also say Britney is still angry and frustrated about the way she was treated all those years, and often takes it out on Sam. It's having a huge impact on their marriage, which is hanging on by a thread, with Sam feeling burnt out with his wife, and now any time she acts up, he bolts as fast as he can, which leaves Britney feeling even more lost and upset, which just isn't husband material if you ask me. Number three, left for a month. Back in November, Britney would be left holding Sam even closer than she ever had before after he left home for a month. As soon as Sam returned, Britney would share her excitement over her husband's return after being away for work by posting a workout video of her man on social media. What was only supposed to be a week away from home ended up being a whole month. And for Sam being away from Britney for a whole month, it was really hard on the star as she had to go through a lot of things on her own. It was also really hard to believe that Sam's work trip went on from being a week away from home to a whole month, and that made things even more frustrating for the pop star. And then when she asked to come visit him, he dodged her comments, and it even left Britney to joke in her own comic section on her Instagram page about how her husband was gone and how she should break up with him and just date herself. But seriously, what was he doing away from home for a whole month? Because it definitely wasn't just work. Number two, address his concerns. Britney has been sharing little Easter eggs for a while now that her marriage wasn't exactly perfect, especially when she deactivated her Instagram account randomly back in December. Then the sudden move would come after the star posted a series of bizarre posts, which began with Britney sharing several heartfelt tributes towards her family members that she has publicly feuded with in the past. Once Britney's account was deactivated, altogether people would start to suspect that Sam was behind Britney's bizarre Instagram activity. Fans then started to accuse the actor of being controlling and that he's been controlling Britney since he started dating her back in 2016. Sam then came out to try to deny all the rumors after a fan asked him if he was managing Britney's account, to which he said he would never control somebody that had been controlled for 13 years. However, have you noticed recently Britney's acting out in ways that she did when her father controlled her? So her actions say otherwise, and that's probably why she looks so free right now while she's on vacation with her friends. End. And coming in at number one, we have Break Silent About the Marriage. Just after Britney had a major meltdown in a restaurant while she was on a date with her husband, after reports claimed that he stormed out of the restaurant, he would finally break his silence about his marriage with Britney Spears by telling everyone they shouldn't believe everything they read online. Then when Britney went on to take a break from her social media account, he would then tell the public again that she was doing this because social media can be traumatizing. Sometimes it's good to take a break. She has her voice and is a free woman. I have respect for her privacy. I protect it at all times. Thank you to all of her protective fans. But seriously, is anyone else finding his post to be really sus, like something is up with this guy? And now that the two have taken off their wedding bands, we're going to see a lot of his lies come flooding out. Number 10, the TMZ documentary. Earlier this year, TMZ released a documentary surrounding Britney's life and relationship to Sam. Throughout the doc, it's revealed that the relationship 
relationship may seem fine on the outside, but in reality, they had been having problems for a very, very long time. According to the documentary, Sam and Brittany would fight constantly to the point where Sam's bed became the pullout sofa in the living room. The doc also took aim at Brittany's bad habits, claiming that she was hooked on caffeine. But not like, oh my god, I love coffee, you know? It was more like, I want coffee now! Apparently, she had a rather strong craving for Red Bull and would reportedly drink it by the gallon. Her need for caffeine and high energy substances led them to speculate that Brittany was trying to cope with the difficult emotions regarding the relationship. Brittany came out and claimed that she never drank energy drinks, sticking mainly to green teas and watermelon juice. Meanwhile, Sam denied several things from that documentary, but he didn't deny the caffeine control problem. Number 9. The Cheating Allegations One major reveal from these two getting a divorce is that some proof has been revealed that shows the couple did in fact fight a lot. A few months ago, TMZ actually reported that Sam had accused Brittany of infidelity, causing them to have a nasty verbal spat, leaving Sam out of the house and in need of a place to stay. According to the article, Sam had seen messages between Brittany and a contactless phone number that were flirtatious in nature. When he confronted her about them, she was more mad than anything else. Sam went through her phone, which was, hey, not cool. The fact that they were both so quick to anger rather than solving the issue like adults was a major red flag for fans and was the first real heads up that these two were probably heading for disaster. Number 8. The Overcompensation now, there have been a few times where this couple has flaunted their success in the face of the world, whether it be their extravagant trips to Maui or their wedding ceremony. Money seems to make the world go round for these two, but their overcompensation may be a cry for help. The pair have always been seen with something expensive, either behind them or beneath them. For instance, when they were married a little over 14 months ago, the ceremony was drenched in money. The wedding dress that Brittany was wearing was a white Versace gown with a long flowing veil. Sam was also also in a Versace suit, and in attendance were roughly 100 guests including Drew Barrymore and Selena Gomez, and even Madonna showed up to this thing. Everyone looked so friendly and cozy, and then they drove away in a beautiful Rolls Royce. Now, I understand wanting to spend a lot of money on your big day, but these guys partied so hard. There were hundreds of thousands of dollars in goodies at this thing. Apparently, the ceremony was not all smooth sailing though, as a few hours prior to the start, Britney's ex-husband Jason Alexander Alexander made his way onto the property where he was not invited. A security team took him down and held him until the cops arrived. Now, whether it was the universe or Jason's jealousy, the rocky start to their ceremony was certainly a warning that this was not going to work out. Number 7. Sam's Typecasting Brittany is of course a pop singing sensation, which means that she's filmed a few music videos in her time. One of the first red flags came very early on in their relationship. They met on set of her music video for the song Slumber Party as her love interest on the song Slumber Party where he played her love interest and arm candy. Sam had previously been featured in a music video for Fifth Harmony where he was also a hunky silent man, but this time he was a construction worker. Spending so much time with Sam as her man in the video must have convinced her that he was her one and only. Following the rap, these two continued to see each other constantly with many paparazzo spotting them out at dinner or shopping, but it was revealed in the TMZ documentary previously mentioned that Britney continued to treat him as some pretty face that she was meant to direct. He recalls several fights over the way that he was being spoken to or the way that things were being done. Over the following months, anytime they were photographed together, they just look awkward. Like they're posing for a picture that they just really don't want to take. Number 6. The New York Times Defense Asgari Asgari spoke out to defend Britney after a New York Times documentary took a closer look at her life and career amid her legal battles against her father. Her father, Jamie Spears, removed as her conservator. He told people it was important to understand that Sam had zero respect for someone trying to control their relationship and constantly throwing obstacles in their way. He wrote to his Instagram story in February of 2021 that, in his opinion, Jamie is a total dick van dyke. Not really, he just said, he also said, I won't get too deep into details because he respected his own privacy and he did not come to this country to be held back from expressing his opinions. The comments came a day after he gave a statement to People Magazine amid social media speculation about Britney. He held a very solid defense and maintained that any and all rumors about himself or Britney were just not true. The rumors, of course, were that the couple had been suffering some kind of an issue, but it was behind the scenes. Of course, it turned out every single one of the rumors were true, with the possible infidelity scandal 
scandal being the only one that's yet to be proven. So the big question is, why did Sam deny the allegations so hard if he knew that there was something to them? Why spend more time with Britney when he seemed to have some idea that it wasn't working out? This was all before they were even engaged. So why would Sam double down? These are all questions that I wish I could answer, but until Sam or Britney respond to my emails, I got nothing. Number five, Sam's painful smile. Since the split was announced, more and more articles have come out of the woodwork containing various pictures from over the years. Now, this entry is for entertainment purposes. I didn't find anything to back up this theory, but can we just agree that this man looks uncomfortable like half of the time he's with Britney? In a ton of pictures, you can see he has this nice smile, but there are some where he just looks disheveled, like Britney just stepped on his toes moments before capturing the moment. My theory is that Sam has been trying to send us subtle messages, literally photographing himself crying for help. Now, I know what you're thinking, but hear me out. This guy is a professional model. It is his job to smile and look good on camera, but for some reason when Britney is around, his instincts go away and instead he goes to, uh, please go away. There are several photos of them in the most beautiful places in the world where one should not be able to wipe the smile off of their face. But Sam looks like he just smelled something terrible and it might be Britney. I don't know if there is much to that one, but hey, you never know. And yes, I'm aware I just spent a couple minutes roasting a model. No need to remind me I'm not one in the comments. Number four, the workout takes. Britney's husband Sam is of course involved in the fitness world. Just look at this guy. His body is fueled by protein powder and Joe Rogan's podcast. But Sam actually used to be a bit of a heavy set man, going through a massive weight loss transformation before ever meeting Britney. His story seemed to inspire her as throughout the majority of 2019 and 2020, Britney and Sam were chronicling their fitness journey as a couple online, sharing workout clips and publicly tracking their goals. While doing a small interview for the Associated Press, the couple told the outlet that they took over 40 takes of their intense workout, with Britney claiming to have been in an enormous amount of pain. However, the fact that they cared about getting the right take so much is a a massive red flag. Instead of just working out together and bonding, they decided to get as much clout as they could. The more uploads for these two, the better. Sam was barely bothered by the workout. In fact, the entire time you can see him silently judging Britney. If they were truly in love, Sam would have seen her pain and made her comfortable, but instead she was made to suffer. Number three, they couldn't even share a bike together. Taking one of the top spots on our list is the most concerning and disturbing red flag of all. These guys had a chance to share a tandem bike together. And they didn't. What? <laughs> In June 2019, Britney posted a picture of herself and Sam on bikes riding through a park with the caption, I'm so blessed to have this in my neighborhood. To which Sam cheekily commented, do you mean the lake or that handsome gentleman? <laughs> there are two red flags here. The first of course being that the pair are simply riding bikes together and not on a two person bike like they do in the movies. The second is Britney's wording. In the post, she never actually says anything nice about her hubby. She responds to his comment, but it wasn't filled with love, it was filled with sorrow. Sarcasm. As I will mention later in this list, when it comes time to post things about lovey dovey stuff, Britney has a tendency to forget about Sam. I have no idea if some of these things are true on this list. This is for entertainment purposes, but man, I wish I had a direct line to Britney Spears. That would be a very interesting phone call. Number two, Sam sleeps on the couch. When it comes to a lover's quarrel, Sam and Britney are expert fire starters, able to rile each other up in an instant. One of the major reveals since the announcement of their split was the confirmation that there was a significant fire at some point in recent history. A story revealed in the TMZ documentary that Sam was spending most nights on the couch, wishing he could figure out what he did wrong. They had been having issues over the public image being presented by news outlets because they were somehow getting crucial information that caused severe stress for the couple. Whenever they would try to deal with their problems though, it ended in a massive blowout. Not long after the TMZ documentary was released, Sam was seen spiraling in public. Photos have since been wiped from the internet, but the idea of Sam sitting somewhere sad is not a fun sight. Brittany was probably in the exact same state, which may explain some of her more questionable behavior this past year. Don't believe me? Just check out her TikTok. And at number one, he loves her, but she doesn't love him. One major sign that this relationship was not working out were the several posts made about each other and the huge differences between them. Whenever Sam posts something about Britney, it's like he's trying to write her a poem every single time. It's so eloquent and well thought out. Whereas when Britney posts the photo, it's just like, luckiest girl around. 
hashtag park date. This poor dude is laying awake at night trying to come up with a sweet way to wish his girl a happy birthday online, but Britney's the type to just send a cake emoji and a little winky face. Through the majority of their relationship, there are dozens of examples of Sam trying to be a sweet man and express himself when Britney is just giving him very little back. Sure, if it's a special occasion or something, she'll make a nice big post or snap a pic, but it's nothing major. Throughout their entire relationship, it's very clear who was putting in the most effort, which is why the news of her possibly cheating on him is devastating to fans. So far, there is no proof that this has actually taken place, but something tells me that more info will be revealed over the next few weeks.